Welcome to your Tuesday edition of Live at 5, brought to you by Richmond Community College. I'm Matt Harrelson. We've got plenty of updates on Hurricane Florence and how it's affecting Richmond County, plus the Seaboard Festival planning and preparations are in full swing. So let's get right to it now for tonight's top stories. If you're planning to make a trip eastbound on Highway 74 in the next 24 hours or so, you can expect coming back to Richmond County will be slightly difficult, and that difficulty will increase as we get closer to the moment Hurricane Florence makes landfall. Evacuations are underway in the coastal and outer banks regions of the state. Universities as far as East Carolina and as close as UNC Pembroke have already canceled classes and have encouraged students to go home to seek safety. In addition to schools, Governor Roy Cooper is strongly encouraging residents, businesses, and visitors not to delay preparations and to follow evacuation orders. As of 6 p.m. on Monday, a number of counties have ordered evacuations with more anticipated today. Birdie and Brunswick counties have ordered a voluntary evacuation, and four other counties, including Hyde, Dare, and Currituck counties, have ordered mandatory evacuations. Be sure to stay tuned to the Live at 5 weather report for an update on Florence's location. The last Saturday in October has been the day of the Seaboard Festival on Main Street in Hamlet for the last 35 years. Drawing a large crowd of current residents, former residents back for a reunion with old friends, and residents of neighboring counties, the festival is a celebration for the city of Hamlet. Responsible for the year-long planning of the festival is the Seaboard Festival Committee, with Chuck Cobb as its 2018 president. This committee has been mailing applications, contacting potential vendors, entertainers, and crafters to make this year's event as interesting, fun, and entertaining as possible. According to Cobb, the planning is going very well. Diane Mabe, a festival committee member, is excited about what the committee has put together so far. Diane also states that as of September 5th, there are 135 vendors signed up with less than 10 open spaces available. Food vendor spaces are already full, so they're not taking any more applications for food. There are about 40 new vendors this year, with the focus being on an increase in the number of crafters. As always, there'll be plenty of children's activities. A nude food vendor in the mix this year will be selling organic acai and pitaya bowls, along with fruit smoothies. Returning favorites include Chef Hogate with chicken on a stick vendors, selling turkey drums and collard green sandwiches. Funnel cakes, lemonade and more will be on Main Street. The festival committee is still looking for volunteers to help on the day of festival. For more information about being a volunteer, contact Chuck Cobb at 910-995-5966. When we return, I'll be bringing you your Live at 5 weather report with more on Hurricane Florence. It's coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. At Kiyosera, we see your company differently. We see your documents, how they're accessed, what it takes to keep them secure, and how well your workflow is flowing. Kiyosera helps your entire document infrastructure run more efficiently, securely, and cost-effectively. And what we see is an opportunity to integrate all of it. Hayden Construction has two new homes under construction at two distinct locations, 125 Crystal Court in Carolina Hills and on Robert L. School Road. Both feature incredible floor plans and distinct features inside and out. Hayden Construction, quality, value, and beauty. Call Jamie Smart at 910-331-5811 or Nicole Hayden at 910-995-0717 today to schedule an appointment. Exit Realty, making dreams a reality. 
At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Today's Live at Five weather report is brought to you by Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. And we're continuing to keep track of where Hurricane Florence is heading. As of right now, all the models are showing that it is still anticipated to hit the Carolinas head on. Looking at the uh, map behind me here, 2 p.m. today, still pretty far out in the Atlantic. Uh, it seems like the weather here has been pretty nice so far. Obviously, that is expected to change. Uh, moving into Wednesday, 8 a.m. and then to 8 p.m. in that 12-hour range, you can see it's going to be moving quite a bit. Still expected to head right here towards the Carolinas. Obviously, as we get closer to the weekend, that is going to ratchet up. Uh, 8 a.m. on Thursday, 8 a.m. on Friday is when it's actually expected to make landfall as we sit right now. Of course, uh, through the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, if the models hold up, Hurricane Florence is expected to sit right here on top of Richmond County. Now, if you're going to be outside, make sure that you keep everything tied down uh, because as you can see behind me, the wind speed probability above 40 miles per hour is bigger and bigger, obviously, as you get closer to the coast. In the purple there, that means 100% uh, is rather 100 uh, miles per hour is what you can expect as far as wind shear. Uh, and then in the red there, it means 90, 80 right here in the Sand Hills area. We're kind of on the cusp as far as how uh, high the speed of wind is going to be. So if you've got things outside, bring your pets in, uh, any furniture, toys, that sort of thing, make sure that you lock all that up. Now, taking a look at the rain chance for Thursday. Uh, we are expecting a lot of rain, obviously, on the coast, 100% for Wilmington, New Bern, and up in Greenville, uh, which makes sense, obviously, the closer you get to the Sand Hills and then towards the mountains, that uh, probability is going to go down. But right here in the Sand Hills, 60% chance of rain expected Thursday for Southern Pines, Rockingham, and Laurenburg. Now, Moving towards the western part of the state, uh, slightly less chance of rain, although it is still 50% up in Greensboro, but only 30 in Hickory and in Charlotte, but still a pretty good chance of rain because this is uh, right now a Category 4 hurricane, so it's going to take up a lot of space in the Carolinas, so make sure to have your umbrella ready. Now, looking at the five-day weather forecast, for Wednesday, tomorrow, 40% chance of rain, high of 89, low of 72. If you're hoping for sunshine, you're not going to see it because the rest of the week is going to be rainy. On Thursday, a 60% chance that day, high of 88, low of 72. Uh, on Friday, once again, 60% chance that day, a high of 84, low of 74. As we move through the weekend, 60% chance of precipitation on Saturday as well, with a high of 85, a low of 72. And then as we finish out the weekend, thunderstorms expected on Sunday with a 60% chance of that, high of 83, low of 71. So make sure to be prepared. There is a lot of rain coming. Could be some flooding, so make sure to have everything ready. And that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report. When we return, we've got your Raider Sports. It's coming up right after this. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts.
Lane Maltzby, a junior libero on the Richmond Senior High School volleyball team, has been named the first official Richmond County Female Athlete of the Week for the 2018 fall sports season. RO Sports brings back a successful Athlete of the Week segment for the second consecutive school year as all of Richmond Senior High School's fall programs are now in action. Under a new format, the feature will continue to highlight one female and one male student athlete each week for their performance on their respective playing services. Now in her third season at the varsity level, Maltzby is an anchor on first-year head coach Ashley Larson's back row. Her role as the team's libero has helped Richmond win some big-time matches early this season, especially the three contests the Lady Raiders competed in last week. This is Maltzby's first career selection. Richmond Senior High School Athletic Director Ricky Young announced earlier Monday that with the approach of Hurricane Florence, several Richmond athletic programs have made last-minute changes to their schedules. With Florence expected to now make landfall on Thursday this week, Richmond has rescheduled all of its sporting events for Thursday, September 13th on the coming days. Luckily for the Raider football program, including both the varsity and junior varsity squads, week five is their bye week and won't have to reschedule any games this week. The only football team in action is the Richmond County 9th grade academy team whose regularly scheduled game for Thursday against Cardinal Gibbons High School has been moved to Wednesday, which is a day sooner than normal. Thursday's original varsity schedule had two programs in action, the Lady Raider volleyball and tennis teams, but both of those respective matches have also been moved to Wednesday. Head coach Ashley Larson's volleyball team, which was supposed to face Lee County High School at home on Wednesday, is pushing that meeting to Wednesday, September 26, again at 5 p.m., to move its home match against Scotland High School to two days from now at 6 p.m. And Mike Way's tennis team is doing the same thing, speeding up its match against Purnell Sweat High School to Wednesday afternoon. You can find the updated schedule on richmondobserver.com under the Sports tab. And that's going to do it for today's edition of Live at 5. If you haven't already, of course, be sure to download the Richmond Observer app for your iPhone and Android devices. For all the latest news here in Richmond County, visit richmondobserver.com. And be sure to tune in to Good Morning Sandhills Monday through Friday between 6.30 and 8.30 a.m. Thanks for watching Live at 5 and have a good night, Richmond County.